Dance hall entertainer Squash and two other alleged members of the GCT gang, including the reputed leader of the organization, have been implicated in a double murder in Florida. This is according to court records submitted after one of the men, Jareem Shelton, otherwise called J-Man, was charged with the double murder. It is understood that a bloody gang war that started in St. James has spilled over into Lauderhill, Florida. The court records state that the GCT gang is at odds with the Bad Breed Gang. The conflict originated in Salt Spring, St. James, when the alleged leaders, being Fredman for GCT and Marvin Brown, otherwise called Ramos, based in Atlanta, Georgia. On the night of October 19, around 9.20, the Lauder Hill police responded to a double murder. Two men who were wearing bulletproof vests and in possession of firearms, extension clips and ammunition were found dead. Both shot approximately eight times each in the head and face. Witnesses say three men were at the location. Video evidence collected by the police indicate the men were showing off guns, including what appeared to be a rifle. Surveillance footage has shown that three men were on the roadway when a black car pulled up. One of the men pulled a handgun but appeared to be relaxed when a man in a black shirt, blue skinny jeans and a balaclava exited the vehicle. The man in the skinny jeans has since been identified as 26-year-old Jareem Shelton, otherwise called J-Man. Records indicate he entered America illegally. Greetings were exchanged and J-Man appeared to have a brief conversation with the deceased before three other men alighted from the vehicle and opened fire at the gathering. One of the men killed was shot directly in the head while J-Man stood beside him. J-Man fell to the ground and then got up and ran to the back of the house. A blood trail was found matching the run made by J-Man. Returning to the vehicle, J-Man shot one of the men that was already lying on the ground before escaping. After piecing the sequence of events together from different surveillance videos in the area, the police were alerted that a man was dropped off at a hospital during suffering from a gunshot wound to the neck. The police found initial probable cause to place J-Man at the scene after finding a similarity between the man on surveillance tape and J-Man's Instagram account. The police also linked the clothes J-Man was wearing to the man in the surveillance tape. A subsequent DNA test on J-Man matched blood samples taken from three locations at the murder scene. In court records, the police say they've been tipped off that Squashman, Freeman and J-Man were at the scene of the double murder. Police tips have identified the fourth man in the car as Rayman. The police received a further tip that the sixth group headed by Squash, given name Andre Whitaker, has joined forces with a gang formerly known as Bosshead, led by Fredman, to take on the Ramos-led Bad Breed Gang. The two men killed have been identified by their aliases Musselman and Ford Lord in tips revealed by the police in the court documents. However, the police have withheld the men's given names. According to court documents, Musselman is a gun for hire. Members of the GCT gang believed he tried to kill Squash on August 3 while Squash was negotiating a drug deal. They believe he was hired by their rival, Ramos. A voice note has emerged on social media with a distorted voice threatening Squash's life. You don't want Squash man and cut off your head. And anybody else around him. They can't, Squash man can't do no show America and he can't work at Jamaica. No show. He can't do no show in America. As if I put up with the punk crime scene. And he might go, he might go get it, he might go lay out permanently and go on ice. Remember. The dance hall entertainer has taken to Instagram to deny attempts were made on his life. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!